waiting for Facebook to give me the go. It says we are live. I'll take their word for it. You never know with Facebook, uh, this live producer thing, but here we are. Welcome to Direct Mail Monday, June 20th, 2022. Steve Cypress here. And as I usually do on Direct Mail Mondays, I take a piece of mail that arrived in my personal or my business mailbox recently. And I share some advertising, marketing, sales lessons from it. Today is no exception. I have this oversized, full-color postcard right here. So ding, 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 points for the business owner who sent this out or whoever's in charge of their marketing. Bigger the better with the postcard. More likely to get more attention. Full color is going to stand out more. Uh, the size is going to give you more space to sell. However... Ouch, not a lot of selling going on here on the front of the postcard. We've got a cute, it's cute. I mean, if they're, if, if we got paid, if people just sent us money, just called and said, like, I just want to send you money because your advertising is cute, then I wouldn't be needed. You would never need to go to the website mymilliondollarad.com where you can get some from help from me with how to improve the results of your advertising. Uh, there wouldn't be advertising agencies too easy to, hey, put a cute doggy and a cute rubber ducky uh, on the cover with a stay cool. Hey, that's good. Stay cool because people, you know, hey, it makes sense, right? Somebody convinced this business owner or the business owner came to believe that, hey, this makes sense. It's an air conditioning company. So we want to install or repair or service or do whatever to air conditioning units. And it is here in way too hot, and way too sunny Phoenix, Scottsdale area of Arizona. It's over hundred degrees every single day, probably up to 105 or so today, you know, whatever we see, we think we say silly things like it's only a hundred. We don't pay that much attention. Uh, and so air conditioning is a uh, big deal down here, shall we say. And it's even a little late. I probably got this maybe uh, uh, not that recently, maybe a couple of weeks or a month ago, because it's even a little late in the season. People have already been blasting their air conditioning for weeks here. Where up north, it's not even yet prime air conditioning use season. And uh, air conditioning uh, professionals, uh, HVAC contractors all know that there's a big uh, phones ring off the hook at when that first time of the season, whether it's heating in the winter, or cooling in the summer when that customer turns it on and oh it doesn't work and the, the phone calls go out so good time to be promoting your business but this is not the way to do it stay cool with our ac specials here's the thing how about you just put your ac specials right there then i can decide whether i can stay cool with your AC specials. I'm pretty sure that with AC, staying cool, I kind of know that. So I'm interested in AC because I want to stay cool. You don't have to tell me to stay cool with air conditioning, right? So this is um, what happens when uh, uh, likely, and if you're this business owner, absolutely get, you know, go to mymilliondollarand.com and, and we ought to talk and I can help you out, but I'll help you out a little here. But somebody convinced you or you came up with the idea that like, uh, how do I fill up all that space on the front? I'll put a big photo of a dog and a duck. I'll put my logo really big. And I'll put big words, stay cool, with our AC specials. That sounds catchy and good. But catchy and good doesn't pay in advertising. You know what pays in advertising? Making an offer. Let people know the special and then let them know how to respond to it, how to get a hold of you to take advantage of that special. And if that is a good offer, you use my wow strategy, the middle letter of the wow strategy, O stands for an irresistible offer. So when you make a fantastic offer, you don't need dogs and ducks and logos and cute sayings. You just make the offer. So let's turn it over where there's much better job being done because here's some stuff. Uh, here's an offer, $1,000 off. Man, that sounds good. If. The AC unit costs two thousand. That would be irresistible. Fifty percent off. If the AC unit costs ten thousand, that's ten percent off. Not that irresistible. Almost what I call a resistible offer. In fact, you got to be real careful when you put these out because customers, whether 
residential or commercial, are jaded. Uh, look around into anything going on. Um, uh, uh, entertainers, athletes, politicians, any kind of person, anything in the news, anything popular or famous, uh, there's all kinds of bad actors. There's all kinds of people lying and being untrustworthy. And, you know, so, so, you know, to take that into, take that, uh, into consideration when you put off a thousand dollars off, people are just thinking, well, of course, when I call, uh, you're just going to jack up the price a thousand. So if it's normally 12,000 for the unit, you're just going to say it's normally 13, but I'll knock off a thousand, make it 12. Cause there's nothing here that says normally it costs this much, which not likely in the HVAC world, in the air conditioning world, because there's all different units and all different size homes. Our home has two units. A lot of homes here have two air conditioning units, larger homes. So uh, I understand you can't put the amount, then you might want to put instead of $1,000 off, which does seem fantastic other than the trust factor, which is not you in particular, Mr. Business Owner or Mrs. Business Owner or Ms. or Miss or whatever your pronouns are or whatever 482 genders you got. Whoever you are watching this, it's not necessarily you that has engendered that lack of trust. It's, again, everyone in your industry, everyone in the world. You know, who's lying, who's telling the truth, we don't know. So uh, $1,000 off sounds great if people know the price or something. Uh, otherwise, you might want to go with a percentage and even give an example. So say 10% off, for example, the $10,000 Carrier A2000, whiz bang, shebang, greatest, whatever. Normally, 10,000, you get it for only nine, something like that. And have a picture of that. You might even get co op dollars from, uh, from uh, brands uh, that you put in the advertising. And then you've got a $59 AC and heater tune up service. That also sounds like a really good deal to me, but I would put, I would use what's called value selling and put what that normally costs. It's 59. You might want to put normally, it's 159. You save $100. See? And then you want to put that in the front. You might say, uh, your choice, save either $100 or $1,000 on air conditioning. Oh, right? Then I'll decide, hey, that's cool. Hey, I'll stay cool. Uh, another rule is you put the offer on both sides, right? So they might have been thinking, like, well, I got the offers here and they're great. What do I put on the other side? You put the offers again. I know all people have to do is turn it over, but sometimes, now, rain of salt, but sometimes people look through their stack of mail, and if all they see is this, they never see your offer. They just toss it. Stay cool. They see whatever. That's, you know, it doesn't catch my attention. If you would blast it out in the big yellow, fun font, big yellow lettering up here, save $1,000, boom, then somebody might turn it over. You know, turn it over for details or call for details or hit the website for details or whatever. Make sense? So um, what was I going to say there? Um, I, I forget for now. Uh, see if I remember by the end. We are wrapping up. Um, you have call for a free in-home comfort assessment. Also, that's not a great offer because everyone knows that's a sales call. I mean, when's the last time somebody woke up and said, honey, you know what I really, really want more than anything? I want an in-home comfort assessment. That's what I really want. Oh, look, there's a comfort assessment, and it's free. That's exactly what I want, right? So uh, you want to might want to come up with a better offer. Uh, all kinds of things you can do. Good job on putting the phone number and the website fairly low down and putting the logo even lower down that all that stuff belongs at the bottom like it is for capitalizing the a the t and the p so i understand that's airtemppros.com people have put it all caps or all small letters make it much more tougher to read and remember so good job there got a few bullet points that proves yes indeed you are in the heating and air business you do air conditioning heating indoor air quality and water filtering water filtration is an extra one so I would have spelled out a water filtration offer instead of a bullet point. You, we already know you do air conditioning. You said right here, we do air conditioning. Or you said on the front, AC specials. Uh, we know you do heating. I think you said that here. Right? It's AC and heater tune up. So we know those first two. Indoor air quality. Uh, I guess that kind of goes with the, the thing. And water filter could have done the same thing with those two. Could put an offer. 
special offer to up the air quality. Or maybe some kind of a, you know, we, we had the, the, the blue light on ours. When the blue light was on, we knew or we were told that that's when it's filtering the air and making it safer for the dogs and the kids and the whatever. And water filtration could have put an offer. X amount for us to check and uh, uh, maintain, do some maintenance, some upkeep on your water filtration system. A little, little verbiage there. You have tons of space on this side. You, you did practically, you know, just, I'd get rid of this photo or make it smaller. You don't need it. You've got plenty of room to sell. Make it a bigger postcard if you want more room to sell. You got room here. The, the, uh, you don't need an entire quarter of the back for the address. You have more room to sell there. Could have put a sales message there or something about water filtration. Hey, you know, uh, according to XYZ magazine, um, badly filtered water causes X percent of disease or lowers the life expectancy by 1.2 years. So find something that alarms people like, whoa, I got to take you up on your checking out my water filtration system. Okay, so a um, little, little work on the offers, but most importantly, Lead, put your best foot forward. You know, there's a saying in journalism, don't bury the lead, right? I uh, have a journalistic background. I was the general manager, ran my college radio station. I was the editor-in-chief of college newspaper. I was big into journalism as a career uh, until I uh, switched and moved on from that. But uh, there's a saying, don't bury the lead. It means put your most important thing right up in the front, in the first paragraph, in the headline of your article, of your news report on TV. Don't bury the lead. Don't put it eight paragraphs down. Oh, by the way, here's the most important thing. It's the same in the ad. Don't make people search for the best thing. Don't even make people flip it over to find out what the specials are. Lead with your best stuff. Save a $1,000 on air conditioning. Everyone knows that's how you stay cool. You don't need to tell us stay cool with air conditioning. Make sense? Okay. Anyway, so uh, I like the size. I like the color. I like the all uh, three caps in the URL. I like the fact that the logo and the phone number and web address are further down on this page. I like a bunch of good things here. Uh, the I believe this is a really good offer. It's not explained well. I believe this is a really good offer. It needs to be explained better as well. 0% financing. Heck, there you go. That's in the news now. Interest rates are climbing. They're going to be hiking them for the next foreseeable future. 0% financing is looking better and better and better. I would, man, blast those out on the front here and get people's attention. Instead of a dog, you might want to put a photo of a, of a greedy banker and say, like, the banks are raising your interest rates, but we're lowering them all the way to zero. Give us a call. Something like that. Anyway, that's just all off the top of my head. So good job. Could be a lot, lot, lot better. Hopefully you watching this, reading it, listening to it, however you're getting this, uh, get some tips from this and it has more fun and you make more money in your business. And if you want more help, again, go to MyMillionDollarAd.com. And I'll help you out one-on-one. -on -one. That'll do it for today. Direct mail, Monday, June 20th, 2021. Oh, I believe uh, tomorrow, today or tomorrow, must be the first official day of summer. We might be talking about that and how you can make some money based on that event on Topical Tuesday tomorrow. I will catch you then. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.